wild animals in the alphabet. Part 7. What are we doing today? Well, today is our last section of looking at animals we can find related to the alphabet. We are looking at South African wild land animals. We are looking at letters T to Z. In South Africa, we are very spoiled to have so many beautiful wild animals. We are trying to find one animal per letter. Today we are looking at the last group of letters, T to Z. Let's see what we can find. Can you remember? Can you recognize the spur of this animal? Is it A, a lion, B, a hippo, C, a leopard, or D, a wild dog? Well done, you remembered. It's a wild dog. And number two, what spur is that? Which animal does it belong to? What did I hear you guessing? Leopard. Well done. And the last one, can you remember? What did I hear you say? Yes, a lion. Well done to you. We're now on the letter T. Do you know what animal this is? It's a sesame. It's a kind of buck. Can you say sesame? Well done. Aren't they beautiful animals? Look at their unusual horns. This is the spur of the tessabi. It's similar to the other buck. The shoulder height is 1.2 meters. Tessabi can run very fast. We are now looking for the letters U and V. But oh dear, we couldn't find any. So that's really sad. And W? Are there animals with W? Do you know this animal? It's a warthog. Can you say warthog? Look how warthogs live in families. Their shoulder height is 72 centimeters. Look at the spur of the warthog. It's different to some of the other animals you've seen. Warthogs' eyesight is very poor, but they have a very good sense of smell and hearing. Another animal with a W. This is a buck. Do you know what it is? It's a water buck. Can you say water buck? Look at the tail around, look at the circle around the water buck's tail. Can you see the white ring? Look at the shape of his horns. Water buck live in small herds. The shoulder height of the water buck is 1.2 meters. Look at the spur of the water buck. The front foot is different to the back. Another W. Do you know what this animal is? It's a wild dog. Look how beautiful the color of his fur. Look at his big ears. Wild dog live and hunt in packs. Can you see them hiding in the grass? The, their shoulder height is between 60 and 75 centimeters. Look at their spoor. We are now looking for the letters X and Y. Oh dear, again, we can't find animals with X and Y that live on the land and are mammals. We are now at the last letter Z. Do you know what this animal is? Some people say it's a horse with pajamas. But what is it really? It's a zebra. That's right. We get different kinds of zebra. This is a virtual zebra. The shoulder height is about 1.2 meters. Look at the unusual spur of the zebra. See them standing in the grass looking around? Zebras are very sociable animals and love being together in herds. We've learnt about lots of different animals as we've journeyed from the letters A to Z. Can you recognize these ones? Have a look as they begin to unfold. What is this one? Can you see his spots in his tail? What animal is it? Do you know? 
Yes, a cheetah. Well done. Can we look at the next animal? Which one is this? Oh, he's also got unusual colored fur and I can see a big ear peeping out. Which animal is this? It's a wild dog. Well done. And the last one? Oh, he looks like a buck. Look at his long legs and short tail. What buck is it? Do you know? What have you guessed? Have a look. Do you remember? It's a sesame. Well done. We've had lots of fun.